Hey guys, LP here, and I was going through the pile of stuff we're going to be giving away during prep stock, and stop scrolling. And uh, we're going to, uh, I found this one thing that I, this kit that I made, and uh, you can't buy this kit. I mean, I'll put a link someplace to get the basics started, uh, but uh, you can't buy this kit. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So when prep stock started, we decided to make a few things for you guys that we didn't just like go out and buy. This kit right here has been upgraded. You can't buy this, but you can buy this bag and the basic kit. I'll leave a link below. Be adults, spend your money as you see fit. I will be giving this kit away to one of the people who show up for prep stock. Uh, don't be too jealous. Obviously, it's a, a standard grab bag, uh, breakaway, Pull back, you can rip the whole thing apart to, to get to it. It also has the carry handle on it, however you want to use it, that's really up to you. If you, uh, inside this thing is a little bit of everything. One of the things we wanted to do was, we wanted to make sure that some of the uh, companies that gave us gear for prep stock were included in this kit. Uh, this is a water purification water filter. Uh, several thousand gallons uh, made by Practical Survival. I'll throw a link down there for whatever's. Um, let's see, uh, we've got our flashlight down here. This is also Practical Survival. You can put your own battery in it. I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, but the neat thing about this flashlight is it actually has the, uh, where's it at here? The, uh, the lighter itself uh, is, uh, it's, it's, it makes fire. It makes fire for you guys. So it's, it's also a backup as well as a flashlight. Uh, it's got different settings uh, and you use it as you see fit. It's got the uh, punch him in the face end stuff you can use. Uh, we've replaced the crap trauma shears that came in this kit with the high quality trauma shears from Mute. Uh, these are actually the good ones. Uh, these will last a long time. Uh, we've got ourselves a nice little flipper. Uh, these come 50-50, but uh, they work just fine. This one is from Ozark Trails uh, that we threw inside here. So Ozark Trail. Uh, but uh, this is a good little knife. I don't even like giving this knife away because it flips so easily. It flips so easily. One more time. One more time just for you guys. Make sure I'm in there. And it's just a little bloop and open it goes. It's got a nice little sharp edge. It has some serrations for utility, uh, but a uh, solid little pocket knife. Uh, we've got ourselves a handy dandy little spoon here. Spoon slash whistle slash knife slash fishing gadget slash can opener uh, from Ozark Trails. We're gonna throw that inside there for you. Uh, and then what else do we have over here? We've got our line. Uh, this is a, 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 was a trap line. Uh, it's 50 feet, I believe, uh, and this stuff is like right in between um, uh, uh, trap line and uh, 550 cord. This is really good stuff. Super easy to find over at the at the mighty Wally World. What else we got in here? We got some some kill some chem lights. Uh, I believe that these are probably only four hour, maybe six hour chem lights, but you guys know how these you guys know how these work. We're gonna throw those in there. And do we have anything else in here? Nope, looks like that is the what's left in that, that spot. Uh, next, we're going to open this up, this end up right here. Let's get that in the center. Uh, and then inside is an actual, like, this isn't a sun toe, uh, but this one is made by uh, uh, Colons, C-O-G-H-L-A-N-S. This is a legitimate no bull compass, not a joke. Um, we do have our emergency whistle uh, with thermometer thermometer for those cold nights as well as a baby compass which is semi-reliable I guess and then we've got our mini first aid kit that we've built it's got some triple antibiotics something to get the, the whole the things out of your body uh, different uh, types of ointments and uh, washes or should I say scrubs uh, and uh, even a set of uh, of uh, uh, gloves to make sure that you keep your little hands clean I think that's gonna be it for that one. <coughs> Moving to the center, uh, we decided to throw this Ozark Trails head mosquito net in there because let's face it, why not? Why not? Um, we're gonna put in our uh, 
little size duct tape. I bought these for my uh, trauma kits from years ago. Figured I'd throw one of those in there for you. Who can't use a little bit of duct tape? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw an Ozark Trails multi-tool in there for you. And so we can go clamp, 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 clamp. Uh, it's got the cutter on it, it's got all the blades. Uh, it's, it's, it's a standard multi-tool. We're gonna put that back over here. Close that up. We're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna put some, some hot hands in there for you. I'm not sure if this is upside down or right side up or whatever, but we're gonna put some hot hands in there for you. We're gonna put yourself an emergency space blanket inside of there for you. Is there anything else back here? Oh yeah, there's a few other things, look at that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give you the chintzy chainsaw or saw chain or garat or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're gonna give you the lockable carabiner. It's not a super great one, but you can use it to pitch a tent and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna give you the Ozark Trails. I'm catching a theme here, guys. The Ozark Trails multi tool, uh, and uh, actually the what it's it says it does. In case you're curious, we're gonna put that right back inside of there, and that's actually reasonably sharp. Uh, I actually carry one of these similar to this in my wallet. Uh, and then we're going to also throw in a, uh, a a headlamp. Oh, that's right. I haven't pulled the tab out of it yet. Yeah, you don't want to pull that tab out. Your battery will die. Uh, but um, we're going to push. You go back inside there. There we go. And uh, so having that headlamp is going to be better than having nothing at all. Uh, and then we're also going to give you uh, water purification, uh, both the, uh, the purification and the neutralizer are going to be inside the kit. Uh, and then I think we're moving over here to fire now. Obviously, got to have yourself a little bit of a, oh yeah, got to make sure that, you know, I love when people are like, I need my fire cereal rod. And it's like, okay, dude, click, we're going to light the fire. Uh, and then we're also going to put uh, these in. These are actually one of our sponsors as well for prep stock. I'll put a logo someplace over here uh, so you know who they are. And then also it comes with a ferrocerium rod that we have modified because the, the cord is always, they always make the, 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 uh, the retaining cord too short and you, can, you can't get a good throw on it. So we've given you one that actually is long enough and it's got the protective stuff on it. Ah, so this thing sucks. Oh, that's right, I'm doing it wrong. There we go, let's light the house on fire. Okay guys, as you can see, this is a very capable kit for you to add to, take away, good stuff to throw in your car, whatever it may be. I think I've pretty much got it all. And as usual, this is gonna be given away at prep stock. With that said, so as you can see, the kit's pretty robust. We can add to, we can take away, you can do whatever you wanna to do to make your own. But what you have to realize is that you need a starting point. You need a base. You need a small bag. You need the essentials. And uh, they don't, it doesn't have to cost you $1,000. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, do me a favor. There's a link down below for, to find that base. Uh, and uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way out. Stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. By the way, if you're not a YouTube member, you should probably look into that down there.